Hello and welcome back to what the math this is Anton and we're going to try to continue and when I say try to it's because I'm not sure what's gonna happen when I open this door um, Continue Souls Project. This is a pretty awesome game that I have fallen in love with and right now we just have to drop this rock right here uh, Oh temperature is too high. I'm gonna use the cooler because uh, these things I think are heating things up So it, it is unfortunately a little bit too hot what is going on here? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Okie dokie. Very safe. I thought this was monster was supposed to have children. Oh, by the way, I forgot to read the signs. Let's actually go and read them really quickly. So the first sign says that the monster children are sacred. Second sign says um, Lena's heart was not pure and she strayed from the path. The dark something sensed her down into the caves the spirit reached our monastery and unleashed the wrath upon us this must never happen again not a good sign um in the procession the initiates are blessed by their parents as they pass through the enlightened sanctuary all initiates then proceed to the basement where they must open the four gates i missed this one um once the dreams tell them to the initiates know that their time has come they are taken down to the ritual of the four moving pillars and the moving darkness awaits the all initiates. Its dark spirit is con constantly hungry for pure souls. The spirit takes only the worthy and ascends from beyond the plane of existence. Not a good sign. The children living behind these gates are the holy initiates of the enlightened. They will reach ascension of, of, of what? Of the flames? Of the, um, by the way of the flameless right. Okay. Well, you know what? That sounds absolutely horrible and terrifying. But we may have no choice but to go in. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, two more signs. Uh, this one here. Holy missives. The other renounce the light to live in darkness. They steal the gifts given to us. And they want to drag everything down with them. Do not stray. Keep to the light. The sky ones are all that matter. Worship them. Uh, do not help or talk to the others the unbelievers they are no longer of our kind their punishment is the is their own ignorance lock the gates do not let them in the sky ones have given the tools to protect ourselves okay so i kind of get what's happening so they were obviously divided between those um people that came here and 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 uh some of them were okay Nothing happened, you saw nothing, nobody died, everyone's still fine. Uh, so anyway, yeah, there's probably some sort of a divide between the two um, different um, religious thoughts, and I think... Is it gonna work? No. A little bit further. There we go. Uh, and I think uh, some uh, people that were considered to be believers uh, locked themselves up in inside of these caves, or these temples, wherever they are. Okay, and right about now. Are you serious? Where am I now? Water? What is this? Where am I? I cannot see anything. Oh, there's a hole in there. Um, I, and yeah, so I think what must have happened is that uh, there was clearly some sort of battle going on. And so believers and non-believers had a, a different idea about what they wanted to do. And the non-believers all died. Okay, okay. Hello. So that's the smoke he was talking about. And that's the monster. And it's back. Uh, you cannot see me if I don't use fire. I can use a flashlight, just not fire. And usually these have a relatively predictable path. So I think... If I stay away from its path... I should be fine. And I can now drink and, and eat water. Now, I, there was another path in there, but I'm guessing only death awaits me there. So we're gonna just go ahead and try to move to toward the forward vector. Cold and wet, that's not good. Oh, I need to use fire, but I can't because there's monsters. So I'm gonna use this thing. This, this is gonna warm me up, right? Yeah, there we go. Just gonna stay right here to warm up. All right, so there's another um, region area right here, and this says, Holy Missives, three out of four. I am Otuku. The Great Vision is endangered by the outsiders. Helping them constitutes death. 
Do not hide the heretics. Let their bodies be thrown down into the darkness where they belong. Okay, something's opening. Something just opened up. What was that? Did I press something by accident? I don't think so. So, you're saying the heretics are down there? Should I be go going there? Well, I have no choice now. Let's go and find out. Oh yeah, there's someone's body right there. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna go down and try to figure out what's happening here. I need to also save flashlight because it, it is not going to last forever. Uh, okay, this person fell down. There's a button that I can use. And inside of this, there is something. A cave. Oh, look at that. Oh, traps. Traps, 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 traps. Be careful. Be careful. I still don't know what these are. These started to sort of appear out of nowhere. I'm not sure what they're for. Um, wow, this game is really longer than I thought. And it sounds like Act 3 might be actually present in this game. Unless I'm totally not doing the right thing. No, it's still leading me somewhere. Still, still telling me to go somewhere. And... Okie dokie. Do I need sleep? No, I don't. Do I need to save my game? Uh, maybe. Mm, should I light this? What if the monster comes? Let's find out. We're gonna find out if the monster comes. Okay, well, so nothing here. I think this is just another letter. And things are getting a little bit freakier as we go keep going down. Because I thought I'm actually going down to the same caves. But it's actually a completely different passage. And this also looks like a trap. Is that a trap? Definitely. Definitely a trap. Let's sleep for one hour and save our game. And let's find out if we're going to fall through these. Okay, dokie. Uh, survived. Brother Seiran, ascended age 21. Okay, so this is like gravestones of different um, babies that ascended, whatever that means. I'm just gonna look at them because I think that gives us an achievement if we actually look at all of them. Um, there's a lot of achievements in this game, but I haven't really been keeping track. And so, right, so we're going into some sort of a tomb slash place of the asc ascended. And this is another dark place, dark cave. Um, there's a button. And what is this for? That did something. Oh, this unlocks this. So I'm not, I guess I'm, I can move it now. Uh, let's look what's inside of this as well. Oh, I'm running low on torch. I may have to start saving it, actually. I mean, uh, on my flashlight. My flashlight is... That's a human. Wilson, record. No, no, it's not. I can't comprehend what I'm seeing here. This planet is far from a tabula rasa. There is highly developed technology. Huge weather harnessing structures. I just activated a massive lightning rod, which passed an electrical current to the entire building, possibly the whole region. The beings who built all this were possibly more advanced than we are. They're harnessing energy in ways I've never seen. I don't understand what happened to them. Even worse, I don't understand why they look so like us. Their skeletal structure is borderline human. Yeah, they point. even have a written language Wilson can read, for God's sake. It must be similar to hieroglyphics or proto-Sumerian script. I can't believe I'm saying this, but do our histories overlap? I'm going to keep exploring. There may be more secrets, more dangers, on Guia's 6143C. Scan out. Um, very good point, sir. Very, very good point. I agree with everything you just said. Um, Vector is telling us to go left, but we're gonna just... Explore right for a second. Oh, this is so scary. These things are not dangerous, but they're just terrifying. Because they make this horrible noise. And... Trap. Those are spikes, I think. Spike traps. Oh, am I going the right way? I might be actually going the right way. Uh, there's a... What is that eye thing? Ooh! I found um, a buff. Buffs received. Oh, this is so scary. This is so terrifying. Because it's like a long, dark hallway filled with noise and stuff. Is that a button? I think so. 
Okay, that must have unlocked something, right? Almost feels like a medieval dungeon or something. Oh, I just saw something. Oh, I can break this with my hammer. Uh, so hopefully this is a secret. So I can possibly get some food and drink. And get some sleep done. Oh, there's a key in there. Okay. I, I definitely need that. Okay, look. That just has a key in it. Okay. No, nothing else. Um, all right. We're going. We're getting a little bit low on food and drink. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. This guy's just sitting in front, of, in front of the flower. I'm gonna go look for... Okay. Food and drink. And uh, hopefully find something else as well. So nothing is... Except for these monsters, nothing else is here. Um, and we are now in a completely new area. I think I just opened up this. And you know what? This looks so familiar. Oh my god, I know where I am. This is where I started in the beginning, right? I remember this. And I remember opening that. I totally have been here before. This is like from part one or two or something. And we definitely came from there. Yeah, and I remember this as well. And the, yeah, the save game is here. Which I'm gonna use right now. This is old, old area. And there was definitely um, food and drink somewhere. Just don't remember where, but it's telling us to go this way. So let's do that. I think I get it. I think I'm just returning back to the original area with the transmitter. That would make a lot of sense, right? Because that's our main mission. Act activated transmitter. So there's some food, I hope, here. Because I'm running low on food and drink. Yay, this is a... Uh, yeah, I definitely have been here before. This is where we ate and drank before. And now we're just going to keep going. Um, we have definitely have seen this before. Yeah, see, because it's actually exclamation point. Which means that you have seen this already. And there's a rock that I put a long time ago. And this is where we have to insert the sword. Which I actually... I have another sword. And I just found another sword. Interesting. I wonder if these actually respawn or something. Um... It melted. This used to be ice. What is that now? That doesn't look very safe. This was ice before. 77 degrees. I need to use my cooler. Um, yeah, so things changed a little bit, right? What does this do? Nothing. This does nothing. Okie dokie. Um... So this kind of looks familiar, but a little bit different. Things have definitely, like, lit up and started functioning. And yeah, I definitely lit this candle. I just don't remember what happens afterwards. I know this is, like, pre-monster, so there's not going to be any monsters here yet. Or well, I hope there are not going to be any monsters. But you never know. This is, I think, one of the first times I got scared by those um, spiky thingies. So nothing is happening so far. This is the um, cave I've used before, and I think I'm just going back because it's actually the exit to the main island, to the first island. Um, and from what I'm thinking so far is, is that I'm basically just going back to the transmitter. And it... Ah, oh, that's the spikes, 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 spikes. Run, 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 run. Ceiling spikes. I remember them. I remember those spikes. Um, so we're going back to the island, and I think we're just going to be reinserting parts and trying to re-enable transmitter, which would make a lot of sense because that's, that was kind of our goal, right? We just kind of forgot about our goal because there is suddenly aliens everywhere. Okay, here we go. And we're back inside of the cave where we came from, and luckily we found some water, so we're gonna drink that. Um, unless, yeah, no, we're good for water. We're good for water, let's just go and find out what we need to do now. But first, there's a save game coming up, yay! In this game, if you don't save too much, or at all, you're not gonna survive very long, because things always go wrong. Um, okay, it looks like it's not too cold, not too hot. The weather is just perfect. Okie dokie. Find a way back. I did! And what is that thing? Okay. Calling all Solace Project Chips. Are you serious? We've lost another engine spool on Dino. The ship staff are furious. 
parasite attack on Imitro has left the hydroponic slab understaffed. The there isn't enough water to go around. There isn't enough to cool the engines. The biome doesn't have enough people to run anything. It's been 15 years. We need somewhere to settle. Are you there? Do you hear me? I don't think these need it. What? What just happened? Okay, I need to process this for a second. Did I just go back or go forward in time or something? She she did say 15 years. She said asking for help 15 years later or something like that. Also, this a crucified guy. This was not here before. The aliens in a in a flying saucer. Right there? Like, what? what, what is happening? I kind of feel like I want to see what's happening if I come close to it, but I'm, I'm too scared now. It's definitely patrolling. And I have a feeling it's going to kill me if I come close. I don't think he's a friendly. Why is a thingy on it? Uh, like a targeting thingy. Like, almost as if it's a, some sort of a waypoint. I am so confused, but also kind of terrified. And this has suddenly gotten ha has gotten a lot crazier and a lot more interesting. Okay, there's no more waypoint, and I have no idea what I have to do. Oh wait, wait it left. It just left. So, once again, totally confused. The aliens just left. Uh, they actually disappeared into the sky. Um, there used to be a waypoint that showed where they are, but I think they're really gone. Not exactly sure if they were friendlies or the opposite of friendlies. But I'm going to take a guess that this was not a friendly experience. I'm going to take a guess that this is danger. Because, I mean, there was a guy crucified, right? We all saw that. We all saw the crucified guy. And I think I'm just going to go back to the transmitter thingy, Majigi. And reinsert all the parts I've acquired. Hopefully this will change something. Um, it's actually near that beacon, I believe. Uh, it's getting a little bit too warm for us, but we're gonna go and eat and drink first. And um, can, I'm still kind of processing what just happened. I had, Wait a second. That's new too. Hello, ice. That wasn't there before. I think things are just watching me, I think. And I don't think they're safe. Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak through here. I don't know if I have to, like, sneak sneak or if I can just walk through. It doesn't seem to see me just yet. And I have a feeling that if he sees me, he's going to, like, alarm everyone. Uh, but I have to be really careful because I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen. Let's go in there and drink and eat first. And I think it's slowly moving, so I can possibly time it just right. And, uh... Avoid it. Let's see if I can do that, but also let's actually see if we can save our game here. Because that's kind of what I want to do. So that, yeah, that thing is definitely moving around, but what I'm going to try to do is move right here to the left of it. Try to make sure that it doesn't see me. And then... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Run to the thingy. Explore. Oh, that's all I had to do? Follow the strange flying orb. Oh, I have to follow it. But what about this? I need to fix this first, no? Let's fix it first. Okay, that did not fix everything yet. Um, getting a little bit hot again. So the game is just telling me to follow the orb, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Look how hot it suddenly got. Super hot. Where, where is it? Where's the orb? Oh, it went inside the cave again. And I've been here before as well, so let's uh, let's go and find out what it's doing inside. A little bit creepy again. And I'm guessing it's not going to be very safe, right? Right. Follow the flying orb. Where'd they go? Where's the flying orb? Save the game. Mr. Orb, where are you? Huh inside here 
Wait, so I'm, am I going back again? Oh, all right. Okay. So yeah, like I said before, this is not a final product yet. Next part is going to be released sometime in April of 2016. So we're going to continue this then. But until then, we're going to have to leave with this little cliffhanger of following the orb. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this little playthrough. And as soon as the next part is out, we're going to basically try to finish that as well. See you guys in the next video when this game finally comes out as a full release. Game you later, and don't forget to support the developers. Buy this game if you've enjoyed watching it, and try it yourself because it's actually super, super awesome. Bye bye.